Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to take a look at uh, Magia 3, which is um, currently in its second beta release. I believe they're close to a release candidate, and that the only thing that um, they're currently working on is some Wi-Fi support for Broadcom devices. Alright, well let's uh, take a quick look at um, the settings. And uh, I was checking this out earlier, and they are running KDE 4.10. Let's see what kind of um, artwork comes with this. I don't usually use KDE, so I might fumble around a little bit on here trying to find the wallpaper. I've always found that their system settings is, um, I wouldn't call it confusing, but for instance, um, Workspace behavior, workspace appearance, and application appearance all being in separate uh, applications. I don't know. I always thought that was a little unnecessary. I understand how it works now, so um, I'll get over it. Let's add a widget for a CPU monitor. Why should we? Cool. What about? Do we have? Oh, nice. See, this scrolls really nicely now. Um, back in previous versions, it would uh, s scroll extremely slow, and uh, you'd have to resort to going into um, and using the scroll bar. Looks like I'm using about a half a gigabyte of RAM, and this is probably swap space. A KDE 4.10 is really nice. It's a big improvement on a KDE 4.8, and a definite, which was, a, of course, a, a big improvement from the previous version. All right, let's see what we got pre-installed here. As you can see, I have my desktop switched to um, have widgets uh, independent of the desktop environment. So here's uh, Magia's. Uh, homepage, we find out all the information about uh, the project, which was based off of um, Mandriva, which was discontinued uh, maybe a year or two ago. That, in turn, was based off of something called Mandrake. Okay, so we've got Firefox. GIMP, Amarox, the music player. Let's see what else we got here. Conquerors pre-installed. I really love this um, this effect they have here for resizing the windows. You could resize the corners, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, KDE might be the only thing that can do this. Okay, well let's keep on looking so I'm not holding you guys up. Under Office, you've got uh, LibreOffice. And I believe they're using the latest version, either um, which is a release candidate from the LibreOffice uh, project. What else do we have here? Adore. Audacity. Dragon Player. Under Tools, your usual uh, KDE tool packages. Okay. And of course, Amarok Music Player, which is uh, what Clementine is based off of. This is a really cool um, music player. Um, and. Uh, Whoa. I always forget that it has music um, Amarok uh, theme pre-installed there on to test the audio, which is useful. Let's 
So that's Magia 3. Really smooth, really, um, as you can see, I didn't have any strange errors. Just me fumbling around. Before I go, let's take a look and see if we can um, change the desktop appearance now. It's kind of embarrassing that I don't know where I'm looking for. So, do wallpaper. Okay, how about desktop? thing. That's really cool. I mean, KDE is extremely customizable, so you can go in and literally spend hours uh, fiddling with effects and wobbly borders and all sorts of craziness. Ah, here we are. All I had to do is right-click on the desktop. <clears throat> Cool. Of course, you can make the uh, desktops independent of each other. So, if you wanted to dedicate one of your uh, desktops to CPU management or, you know, music, work, whatever, and then you could always just uh, page right through them. Okay, well, anyway, thanks for watching the GA3. I'm sure the release candidate is right around the corner, and uh, everyone can get a sense for uh, why Magia is hot on the heels of Ubuntu for anyone who's kind of lost faith in uh, the Unity <coughs> interface or Kubuntu. Maybe that um, this is a really good uh, implementation of KDE. I think it's probably one of the more user-friendly implementations, if not the most user-friendly. So anyway, uh, go ahead and give me your thoughts on this video on KDE and uh, the Magia project in the comments below. And thank you for watching.